Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with a keto white sauce or bechamel. Hello, in this video I'll be making a white sauce, a bechamel, or in fact a Mornay sauce because I'm adding cheese to it. Um, this sauce has lots of variations to use, but the key thing about this one is because I'm using Zanclan gum as the thickener rather than flour, it makes it keto friendly, low carb. So if you're on one of those diets and you're sort of you're missing those types of dishes, look no further. This will work, I promise you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to crack up with this video and I think you're going to really like this one. So white sauce technique, here we go. So in goes the fat, when the fat has melted, in goes the xanthan gum instead of the flour. But the difference here is a lot less of it. The volume of the gum needed is far less than a regular roux sauce. So uh, it looks like it's too much oil, but don't worry, when, when it starts to absorb and collect this milk and you stir this mixture around, it, it gobbles up all that fat. And I want the fat because you know I'm not having hardly any carbs in my diet, so I Actually, the fat is good. The fat is where the energy comes from, folks. So don't be afraid of fat, as long as it's good natural fats, I would say. Anyway, so you can see that. That's thickening up. And then just a, a moment lo longer. And this is over a sort of low to low to medium heat, but just keep adjusting it if you think you need to. If it's going a bit fast, turn it down. If it's not cooking, turn it up a little bit. But move the roux around once you've added some milk. Let the roux sort of gather up the milk. This is my preferred method. I've got a flat bottom wooden spoon rather than a whisk. And I just, once it comes together, I give it a beat and that's ready for some more milk. So just, you know, just keep adding bit by bit by bit. I haven't tried just chucking all the milk in in one go. Perhaps it would work, I, you know, it, but I haven't tried it yet. So by all means, give it a go if you want to. But there we go. We're sort of, we're, we're moving along, going through the stages here. We've got pretty much, I think, have we got all the milk in now? Yes. Time to adjust the seasoning. So I've got a couple of dollops of Dijon mustard. I'm using some ground white pepper and some sea salt. I'm gonna give that a stir. And I had to get the whisk in eventually here just to get it really smooth. And then I'm gonna hand you over to me for a little word. Would you mind helping me out? If you could press the like, the thumbs up button, or make a comment, so share this video, or subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, any of those things, if you wouldn't mind doing that, it's gonna really help the channel to grow, helps with the algorithm, you see. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this cheese, if you don't mind liking it now, thanks a lot. Yeah, according to YouTube, the algorithm's based on viewers' interaction, so please, guys, interact, interact with me, I'm lovely. You know, you help me out. Thank you, thank you very much. So, in goes that cheese. I use cheddar, but you could always use Gruyere, something like that, but anyway, that's great. Leave the lid on it so it doesn't collect the skin while you, well, I'm going to show you very quickly me making a, uh, a variation of a cod mornay. So spinach, I washed it, give it a quick cook down, added some seasoning, and that is nutmeg. Nutmeg and spinach is a winner, I promise you, that's great. So just when that's wilted, get that off to drain and to cool, and I'm going to prepare, sorry, put my teeth in, prepare some hake, not cod in this case. It's a very similar fish, but I think it's superior. I love it, and it's cheaper, so, you know. That's a winner. So I've just skinned it, made sure there's no little pin bones, get that to the side, and um, we're gonna build up in a little gratin dish this wonderful little recipe. I think it's great anyway. So arrange my spinach on the bottom, sit the nice bits of hake on top, and that fitted just beautifully. Um, the thickness of this sauce, if, if you like it a bit thinner, don't worry about the recipe too much, just add a bit more milk until you're happy with it, or less if you want it thicker, you know. It's, it's a guide basically. So top it with the sauce, cover that with some extra to the recipe cheddar cheese, and that's gonna go in the oven. There's the temperatures, 190C, 375 Fahrenheit. It took about 25 minutes to get all nice and bubbly and ready. Plenty of time to make a little salad. I love tomatoes, especially in the summer. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? So tomatoes, onions, season that a little bit. That's nice, isn't it? Put some olive oil on it. Top that with a bit of rocket, and we're ready to go. How's the fish doing? Oh, it's almost there. Lovely. Right, so then when that's when you're happy with it, 
get it out of the oven and then hand it over to me for the tasting. So how is this sauce tasting? Mm, lovely, really cheesy, got a bit of mustard in there. Everything I would want from a traditional sort of bechamel or Mornay sauce is there. Texture is slightly gelatinous, a tiny bit, but you know, I can deal with that, absolutely. So anytime I want a sort of gratin type dish, that's the recipe. Um, we follow it however you want. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for all the liking and commenting and subscribing and all that stuff. It really does help. And I'll catch you in the next video. Come pretty soon. Bye.